when Vivek takes a hand takes a hands off approach to the basketball operations, he actually looks like a good businessman. <laughs> yeah, the Kings start winning. Wow, who would have guessed? One of the things that I thought was interesting on that podcast because Chris Haynes mentioned that he was at like because like Vivek Ranadive has a brunch at the All Star Weekend every year since he's been an owner. Like he hosts, yeah. Like it? Shaq goes there and all these former Kings and former players and people connected with him somehow. Or he'll just invite people like oh, Chris wow. Haynes, like a uh, prominent Interesting. inside. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I didn't know about this. And this is kind of just my opinion on this. this is interesting. He was noting, he's like, ah, he's like, Chris Haynes was like, I love Vivek. You know, Vivek was looking at me at this brunch and he said, how did you get so big all of a sudden, Chris? And he was just having this great time. And I'm just like, man, Vivek really knows how to talk people's egos up. Yeah, I was gonna and I'm say. like, and it's just the way he was talking about. It. I'm like, are you that dense? Like, do you not see what's going on there? But it's all about access. What are you gonna yeah. do? <laughs> the world kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> just funny. like I just feel like it's interesting whenever people are like, oh yeah, you got to give feedback his due diligence because that's what Chris Haynes said. He's like, he did a great job as an owner. I'm like, eh, I would go about as far as saying he did a good job by letting Monty McNair do his job. That says a lot yeah. about him. I'm not gonna go further than that. You can't. That's <laughs> all he's done. Yeah, seriously. And then you can be like, well, okay, he brought the Kings their first whatever. I mean, he didn't bring them anything. He bought the team. He's run them into the ground, and he's finally not. Is that success? Well, there, I'm, what maybe I'm, what this I'm, year, but not as what a What I'm saying is there's still more to the story. The arc can definitely go on an upward trajectory. I mean, yeah, it could be this whole grand story of like a learning experience. Now, do I really think that? Like, I don't know. I don't know Vivek. I don't want to like act like I know him, but I don't know. He's not brimming with humility. I saw. I th- this is kind of funny. What I saw um, the Stockton Kings clinch like a playoff spot, and his his daughter Vivek's daughter Anjali um, is like the GM. She's like the associate GM or something. The Stockton. And so she posts on Twitter. She's like, I made the playoffs in my first year. <laughs> and I'm just like, like, what if Vivek just like fired McNair? Yeah. Like, no, we already got a we already got a GM that can take our team to the playoffs. Well, that was crazy because remember when they were like avoiding contract talks, like and it was uh Sam Amick had just written a story. It was like last June. Just written a story about like because they just hired um Brown. He's like, you know, they didn't match up McNair's contract with Brown's. Um, it seems like there's a lot of pressure on McNair to make sure that this team gets to the, to the, whatchamacallit. And it's like in the same breath, it's like Stockton Kings, new assistant GM is, is Vivek's daughter. And it's just like, you know, it, it's a cartoon idea. It's, but we live in a clown world, especially with Vivek Ranadive as the owner. Uh, it's hard to deny the idea that <laughs> somehow they're setting up for something crazy. I mean, like, of course that's probably not going to happen, but it was, you, it's hard to avoid with Vivek. It's yeah. just like, Honestly, yeah, yeah, that's uh, well, good for her and good for the French. I don't know what the extent of her involvement is with them, but uh, that's cool. The Stockton Kings are great. There's actually a lot of just interesting, you know, beyond Keita and um, why am I blanking on my our guy? Yeah, no, (laughs) KE, KE2. There's a lot of interesting length in you know, uh, young, raw talent down there that's been compiled. And they're a good G League team. So all the props to the Stockton Kings. Mm-hmm. But, man, I love any time I get to talk about Vivek Ranadive. I love any time he gets brought up and I'm just like, oh, man, the psychology of this guy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very in- intriguing person. Big time. Everything about him.